Guyanese, the government of Guyana continues to work assiduously to combat the deadly coronavirus COVID-19 disease. I addressed the nation twice before, on the 11th of March and the 20th of March, detailing the policies which have been promulgated and the action which has started. This is my third address to you on this disease. I am happy that many individuals, institutions, religious organizations, and business enterprises of their own accord have initiated action to protect citizens and to prevent the spread of this disease. I thank all those who have contributed to the fight against COVID-19 through the installation of hand washing basins or other valuable donations. This is as it should be. Fighting the pandemic requires the continuous collective action of all citizens and the entire country. I take this opportunity to remind you of the following actions by the government. The extraordinary issue of the official gazette published on the 16th of March aims at protecting the health and safety of all Guyanese and empowers the Minister of Public Health to take certain actions which have already been in force. The Ministry of Public Health, together with the Civil Defence Commission, has been engaged in mobilizing medical staff and marshalling the resources and equipment needed to fight the disease. The National Emergency Operations Centre was operationalized with effect from the 31st of March 2020. The activation of the NAOC is aimed at ensuring the highest level of collaboration among stakeholders and to further prevent the spread, enhance preparation and strengthen national response to the disease. The National COVID-19 Task Force, headed by the Prime Minister, includes the Attorney General and Ministers of Public Health, Public Security, Finance, Foreign Affairs, Education, Communities, Public Infrastructure, Natural Resources and Citizenship. It was established on the 12th of March and completed a national response to the coronavirus disease. Some of these measures will take effect from Friday, 3rd of April, 2020. National quarantine and isolation facilities have been established at the West Demerara Regional Hospital, the East Bank Demerara Hospital at Diamond, the Diamond Diagnostic Center, the Georgetown Public Hospital, the Temeri Madiwini Youth Center, the East Coast Demerara Ocean View International Hotel, the Cliff Anderson Sports Center, and the National Gymnasium. These facilities collectively will be able to accommodate more than 1,000 persons, Guyanese. I iterate the need for all citizens in all parts of the country to adopt the many advisories that have been issued by the Ministry of Public Health and the National Task Force, including avoidance of leaving home, Avoidance of gatherings of more than five persons. Avoidance of visiting sick persons. Avoidance of touching other persons. Avoidance of touching parts of your own faces and washing hands frequently and thoroughly in water. COVID-19 is a global pandemic for which there is no vaccination or cure. At the individual level, Certain measures are absolutely necessary to reduce the spread of this disease. It is now clear that several other measures must be put in place to keep the public safe. The national response to the coronavirus 2019 has been crafted and a draft has been disseminated. The objectives of this response are to protect the health and safety of the Guyanese people, to protect vulnerable persons in special care homes and shelters, to prevent community spread to local and hinterland areas, to reduce or mitigate the spread in affected areas, to restrict or halt imported cases into the country, to restrict and contain the spread of the disease in heavily populated areas, to ensure on the job safety of all medical and technical staff, to reinforce measures to mitigate the social and economic impact on the livelihood of vulnerable persons and 
to coordinate the efforts of civic and non-governmental organizations. Several measures aimed at limiting social contact are already in force. The University of Guyana's campuses and other schools have been closed. National grade six assessment examinations have been postponed and new dates will be announced. The Chedi Dagon and the Eugene F. Karai International Airports have suspended operations until May 2020. Seaports have been closed to international vessels except merchant ships from the 21st of March. Travel to countries which border Guyana has been suspended. Public servants have been placed on a rotational shift system of duty. The Guyana Revenue Authority has waived the value-added tax on medical supplies associated with the testing, prevention, and treatment of COVID-19. And visitation at the Palms Geriatric Home, the Night Shelter, the New Opportunity Corps, and the Hugo Chavez Rehabilitation and Reintegration Center has been suspended until further notice. The measures that have already been implemented will remain in place until further notice. Guyanese, in light of the increasing number of confirmed cases of the novel coronavirus COVID-19 in Guyana and the number of projected cases, a meeting was held with partners from international and non-governmental organizations to coordinate the planning of mitigative and preventative actions against the short and long-term impacts of the virus on all sectors of our country. The government, in order to strengthen containment measures, will close public gathering at places of entertainment, including bars, clubs, gymnasiums, nightclubs, restaurants, and swimming pools between the hours of 18 hours and 06 hours, that is to say, between 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., with effect from midnight, that is 23.59 hours, on Friday, 3rd of April, 2020. Additional restrictions to safeguard public health will be announced from time to time as the needs arise. I thank you.